So we're here at Gateway Church at their outreach and we're going to experience what they're doing in their outreach today. Good Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to come and to serve your people and to uh, have fun together, Father. So I'm Renee and Rob Everly from Gateway Church, and we serve about 100 families every two weeks. We set everything up so that they can come in and register. They go through produce in this area, and they circle around to the back where all of our frozen refrigerated stuff is and desserts are in the corner and then back out to some canned foods and drinks and snacks and they get to shop and just pretty much take whatever they can use. My name is Veronica and we're a family, a blended family of six. I have two stepdaughters, uh, one of my own, and we actually um, took custody of a 16 year old and um, this program basically helps us keep those kids in our household so that we're able to help children that don't have homes. My name is Eileen Ball and I live here in Wrightsville and I want you to know that this program has really helped me and my family and it's helped every one of these people here today. Living on a fixed income is Social Security, you can't make ends meet. And every month I come here twice, a week, every two weeks. I'll tell you, it, it is amazing how much that this program alone has helped everyone in this community. And one of the awesome things is we've always had opportunity when we say, hey, how are you doing? And someone says, something that's maybe not going so great in their life, right then just say, hey, can I pray with you about it? And we've never once had anybody ever say, no, you can't pray with me. So it's given, it's opened a lot of doors to people's hearts to be able to just, just be the hands and feet of Jesus and love them with no strings attached. And instead of asking for something, like a lot of people think of church, I'm gonna go there and they're gonna ask for money. They're gonna want an offering. They're gonna want whatever. They get to come here and just take from us and we don't want anything back from them. So that's part of why we love doing it. So one of the visions for Blessings of Hope is to empower churches to reach out in their local community. So what's happening here is they have 30 volunteers from the church and from the community and it creates passion for them to be able to give back. One of the people that was helping worked at a bookstore and had a lot of leftover Bibles and they didn't want to throw them out. So they gave them to us to give out to the people. So I was loading the truck and I started talking to the first gentleman in line named Al, uh, older gentleman, and he said to me, he said, hey, you see this Bible? I said, yeah, he said, I got it here. He said, I've never had a Bible before. This is the first Bible I've ever had. So um, he's actually still sitting out there reading it right now. So um, just really amazed at that, that a person in America has never had a Bible before and they came to get food and they received the word. Hello, my name is Debbie. My husband and I have come through some really hard times for a while. He was out of work because he went blind in his, his right eye. He lost his job. We really benefited from this. You know, it's really been a big help to us. You know, we really appreciate the food. Hello, I'm Nancy Lookable, and I think this is a great thing that they're doing. It's helped us out tremendously, and I have brought other people down with me, and it has helped them. We tremendously think it's a great thing. Thank you so much, Blessings of Hope. We're so blessed, and we're so blessed to be able to be a blessing to the community and give back to them. Thank you. It's a blessing to us, and it's a blessing to all the people that come here. We get a chance to minister to all the people through the food. So thank you very much, Blessings of Hope. Thank you, Blessings of Hope. Thank you, Blessings of Hope. Thank you, Blessings of Hope.